Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing something that I've been putting off for a little while. I'm actually going to be extending the burble tune from one second to two seconds. I don't really keep the car in sport mode too much, so I'm not really too worried about wasting too much fuel. Honestly, I only do it whenever I'm in the mood of just doing some spirits and driving just by myself for the most part. And uh, so I'm gonna be changing it from one second to two seconds. I'll show you guys how it sounds and also there's an option on there that you can actually change when you actually end up starting the car. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I'll show you guys once I get it going. But yeah, let me go ahead and um, show you guys how the car sounds at startup. And then I'll show you guys once I do the actual option because I've never actually heard it or, or used it myself. So um, I'm curious to see how it sounds. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how one second verbal sounds like in the soft setting right now. So I have the tablet opened up with the, the maps that I'm going to be doing. Uh, we're going to change it to duration to, we'll do 1.5 seconds. Uh, we'll do 1.8. Aggressiveness, soft, enable startup roar. That's the one I was actually talking about. So we're going to enable that, move the second, the duration to 1.8 seconds, leave the aggressiveness, aggressiveness at soft, uh, minimum RPM, we have it set at... Uh, let's see here, 2200, but I'm actually going to move it up to, let's say, 2400. You know what? Let's just bump it up to two seconds. We'll leave it at two seconds. All right, go map right. And the car is going to be doing its thing, so I'll check back with you guys in just a little bit. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Um, hopefully my battery is still good and uh, yeah, we'll see how the car sounds after All right guys, we have success uh, You can't see it, but it does say turn off ignition wait 30 seconds Typically you want to wait till the parking light goes off which I don't know if you guys were able to catch that but once you cut off the ignition uh, just wait on that light to go off and um, You'll be all set and actually, I don't I don't want to start the car up right now. And I do want to apologize for the lighting because I thought it'd be better to park right in front of the sun. But now I can't see anything. Um, so I want to just mention something. If you're new to MHD and you're going to be flashing the tune using the cable, please get a battery charger because your battery will die. Um, there's a, well, I can't say it will for sure, but there's a good chance that it could die because the flash took about 40 minutes. And you don't want to leave your car on that long because there's a chance, if, like I said, if your battery is pretty old, then the car would die and then you might be in, in, a, in a bind. Um, it's possible to get it back on. And I mean, this happened to a friend of mine and I think, I'm not sure exactly what he was able to do, but it can get complicated if your car, if you're in a certain, certain spot and you can't get your car back on. <laughs> um, so get a charger, a battery charger, if you're, you're gonna be using the cable. Or, MHD recently released a um, OBD2, OBD2 port that runs off um, Bluetooth. So you don't have to use the cable. And on top of that, it's a lot faster. So they have an orange one and a black one. This is not sponsored. Um, I don't have one myself. But MHD has been uh, helping me with the, uh, the tune and everything. And um, I just kind of want to mention that out to you guys. Uh, they don't sell it directly. I think Burger Motorsport is one place that sells it. And then there's two other places that carry them. And I think the black one is supposed to be the quickest one to uh, flash. And from what I, I could, from what I saw, I think it's supposed to take maybe five minutes. I could be wrong. I haven't really looked into it. But even though my car is flashed already, I'm still going to be picking one up. Just because I want to be able to use it to monitor everything once I'm taking on long trips. And I don't want the cable to be sitting here or I don't want to have to run the cable and then just have a separate cable plugged in like randomly when I'm not using it. And uh, let's go ahead and start the car up and see how it sounds. 
You know what? I just realized, even though I came to my spot that I used to film at, the highway might get in the way, but I'm just gonna do it now because I, I don't wanna start the car up and then kind of fake that I've never actually listened to the car start up, but. So we're gonna do it here and then I'll probably go to a more quiet place and let you guys hear it and then also so I can rev it up a little bit and show you guys the uh, two second uh, burble. I don't know. Um, I mean, I heard it a little bit. I'd have to play the old, the first clip and then the second one just to kind of see if I can hear a difference. But other than that, it wasn't a big up uh, upstart, I guess, uproar, like I thought it would be. But anyways, let's go and uh, let's take a drive. All right, so I'm gonna roll the windows a little bit down. Hopefully you guys are able to hear it. And also, I did end up raising up the uh, RPMs up to uh, 2600. I think that's what it was. I can't remember. But, um, yes, I think I'll, I'm pretty happy with two seconds now. It's a nice soft burble. It's not too overdone. I know I can switch it up to medium uh, or even go aggressive, but I mean, honestly, I think that's just overkill. I mean, it, it'll sound cool, let's say, if you're riding with a group of friends, just, you know, but I hardly do that, so. Like I said, I mainly do this for my own enjoyment, so. Also, a fun fact, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but if you, you're coasting down and just tap the gas a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I can't do it now because I gotta be at a certain RPM. But you can pretty much make the car burble whenever you want it. Even if you don't have the burble tune, if you're coasting at a certain RPM, I'm not sure what it was stock, but just tap the gas and it'll make it purple. So I'll be doing this every once in a while and I can get some crazy pops out of it. I'm at this spot. Um, hopefully we don't get kicked out. There's really no business here. They're just, this is actually a fairly new building. But well, it's actually been here, but there's just no business. Um, it's a cool building, cool area but we just need more business out here but the only thing that i'm worried about is the apartments over there so hopefully they don't complain i'm not going to be, be here too long but i do want to shoot here so i might rev it just a little bit just so you guys are able to hear it and then i'm going to get some pictures because this is actually a cool place um, i'm going to get some revs for you guys to just show you guys a quick snippet on how the two second burble sounds so i don't think it's going to be that much of a difference but we'll find out so let me go ahead and uh, just park the car and um, i'll rev it up a little bit for you So I'm gonna leave my camera here just in case the car happens to come by and my camera doesn't get ran over. So I'm gonna cut the car off, um, do a start, and then I'll rev it up for you guys. All right, guys. Well, oops. I guess well, I didn't really hear that much of a difference. Um, really, it sounds the same whenever you're stopped. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I do have a few more videos planned, but we'll leave that for a different day. So, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be posting uh, F30 and E36 content and 
maybe some Audi. I think some Audi's coming up. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.